why'd you tell me this? Were you looking for my reaction? What do you need to know? Don't you know I'll always be your girl? You don't have to prove to me you're beautiful to strangers. I got love in of my own, of my own. You belong to me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Let me just do this real quick. And um, I want to know what y'all think about this, you know, because uh, Lauren Hill is starting to really get on my nerve with her um, psychosis, neurosis. I mean, really. Lauren Hill made it, had a defiant message for concert goers left waiting for her at Los Angeles over the weekend. Okay. Hill, who has developed a reputation for arriving late to her show, told the audience members that they were lucky she was even able to make it. You're saying, she's late. She's late a lot. Yo, y'all lucky I make it in, make it on this blood rise stage every night. The hip-hop icon, 49, told the crowd on Saturday, like, what is it? Is somebody fault? Do you want to get paid? Is this your job? Am I missing something? Can you say psychosis neurosis? See what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, <laughs> you know it's something crazy when everybody that you around is weird. So I just say the mental house. And that's why I, I say that. Because whether you in show business, whether you out of show business, whether you in church, whether you out of church, whether you in politics, whether you out of politics, whether you in education, whether you out, it's some real psychotic people standing right next to you. And working with you. And I commend y'all. Those who go get up and go to work every day. And have to deal with this. I mean. So she. She's the victim. And she's late. And they waited two hours. I mean come on. Let me, maybe I'm missing something. She said. I don't do it because they let me do it. I do it because I stand here in the name of God. And I do it. God is the one who allows me to do it, who surrounded me with family and community when there was no support. Okay, and <laughs> Hill then appeared to discuss her career following the release of her legendary 1998 album. Yeah, I wish there's so many who wish they had that problem because I know, you know, that's a hot, a hard to take. Your very first album uh, to be such a commercial success. And some people can't take it. Especially the pressure that comes with it. I get it. And she was one of them. And she, and she wanted to remain true to herself. And um, it's best that you get away from the beasts if that's what you want to do. If you have to take a hiatus for a minute. You know, some people take hiatuses for different reasons. So anyway, when the album sold so many records and no one showed up and said, hey, would you like to make another one? So I went around the world and I played the same album over and over and over and over and over again, she continued, because we're the survivors. We're not just the survivors. We're the thrivers. What? Um. So she says when she made her album and it was great. And she said, hey, would you like to make another one? 
but they wanted to play the album over and over again. Is that what I'm getting? Help me out, family. Anyway, because we're the survivors and we're not humans, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. We're not just survivors. We're thrivers. Hill was late for her concert, according to Billboard, and her fiery speech, and it was captured by an attendant, uh, and they posted it to social media. Hill is in... Hill is currently on her Miseducation of Lauren Hill 25th anniversary tour alongside the Fugees. Can y'all believe that? 25 freaking years ago, man. Oh, God. That baby. You know, I consider Lauren Hill a little, you know, wow. And the rose is still a rose. <laughs> baby girl, you're still a flower. But I didn't know that that was 25 years ago. Interesting. Last month, she was forced to rearrange her gig in Philadelphia after she was ordered by a doctor to rest her voice. The Killing Me Softly songstress wrote on Instagram, Dear Philadelphia, it is with disappointment that I'm writing this note. Um, on the advice of my physicians, I have no choice but to propone, postpone the show. I need to rest my voice to prevent any more serious strain on damage or damage to my vocal cords. Uh, the start of the tour has been incredible. What an amazing experience to celebrate this anniversary along with all of my family, friends, and you. Okay. I look forward to giving you the show you deserve with a fully recovered and healthy voice. Okay, you can't get mad at that. No, you can't get mad at that. She goes on later to say, um, Lauren announced the North American tour in August, revealing that she would perform the Sem Seminole 1998 record in full alongside her former band. In a statement, she reflected on the Grammy winning LP saying, The miseducation of Lauryn Hill and was a love song to my parents, my family, my people, my musical and cultural forebears, my teachers, my loves, and my creator. I wrote love songs and protest songs. And they still love songs. About the subjects and the interests that inspired and moved me. I was confident that what inspired me would resonate with an audience that had been led to believe that songs of that kind could only live in the past. I loved music. I loved people. I truly felt grateful to God for my life. Okay. Why are you making it sound like it's the, it's the past? I'm sure you still are. Um, anyway, you know, it, it, the, I, uh, in other words, she said the music gave her a great platform and she was genuinely blessed to have that platform and she could share her wisdom and her perspective through her music. I felt like a charge to challenge, uh, the idea that certain kinds of expression and or certain kinds of people didn't belong in certain spaces. Obviously, I'm missing something in this. Um, you know, I, I'm got to be missing something. Anyway, the debut album sold 12 million copies following its release in 1998 of August 1998. But the fans never received another solo al album from Hill. And in 2021, she finally revealed the reason why. The wild thing is no one from my label has ever called me and asked, how can we help you make another album? Ever. Ever. Did I say ever? Ever? She confessed during the Rolling Stones music. 
dissatisfied with the music industry and the toll that it began to mount on her self-esteem, I mean, on herself and her family, Hill withdrew from public life um, about a year after the record dropped. With the miseducation, there was no president. I was, for the most part, free to explore, experiment, and express. See, because um, that what they knew was no money in that, and what happened, you had the the music business was starting to go in a different direction. You know, they used Clear Channel and uh, Liar, is that his name, <laughs> Cohen, and you know, Def Jam and all those other so-called black labels to promote death, and that's why we are stuck in a cycle right now. We can't get out of. And you got people on the internet turning, looking back at old music and saying, oh, wow, and rediscovering what music really is because there was a concerted effort to keep real music off the airways. I mean, just believe me when I say, you. do you think that you could have a war going on like this if people were allowed to marinate and hear music that didn't dictate and send you off to war, all that drill music and all that kind of stuff which sends you off to war, but a song like The Harvest for the World or Stevie Wonder's Rain Your Love or um, Give One Your Love, all those things that promoted love and war, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. That was the first one they got rid of. Edwin Starr? Because, see, God has always, the universe has always used musicians. They have always used us to bring forth some truth about the condition and state of humanity. And those of us who are true to art, we respected it and we stayed true to it. Those who were in it for a buck and a buck only, it was easy for them to take their talents to South Beach. You, you know what I'm saying? It was easy for them to take their talents and be exploited and start getting more of the consciousness up out of the, out of the music the public enemies, the fight the powers, the, we're going to get that out and then we're going to replace it with something you ain't going to believe. And with that being said, it's going to hypnotize a couple generations. And by the time they get it good and soaked in, that plan will get to growing of so much negativity that they will be and created their own destructive civilization, their own destructive community. And we wouldn't be to lay the hand on them. We'll just pay them. <laughs> mm. We'll just pay them to be permanent agitators and people that are setting their own self up for demise. See, because you can't do that stuff when Earth, Wind, and Fire is blasting the airwaves. Like I said, it's a whole different vibe. It's a whole different vibe when they took the album, in my opinion, and the black vinyl removed that and made everything laser bound. There's something missing when that diamond needle hits that black. What? Well, listen, I don't, don't get me to going. So anyway, I hope that she put on a good show because I, I, I don't seem to see how, how the show was. But I'm sure, you know, you got angry fans at Lauryn Hill. They are angry at her for a lot arriving late in Atlanta. This is, you know, it's, it's, um, it's kind of like a theme. And I wish Lauryn... Uh, would take that more serious because it really makes her seem as if she un under appreciates her f her fan base 
And I don't think that's cool. But anyway, I don't know what y'all think about it. Tell me what you think. You think Lauren Hill should have been making herself the victim after she was late to her own concert, after these people set up and waited for her for hours and hours, and it's not an isolated incident. It's something that seems to be just what she does. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. If you like what you hear, subscribe, share the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.